Having a heat wave, a tropical heat. Does that taste good, Eddie? You bet it does. My friends, I uh, a couple days ago I drove back from Wisconsin. A great break. I was there a little longer than uh, than usual. We had some family issues, but I'm happy to say things are definitely moving forward now and getting better. So my sister and I spent about 17 hours in the car. So uh, a few months ago I filmed this hip stretch video. Put the link up there in the about section below. Great response to it. I want to take that video. I've been doing this a lot with my former videos. Well, every video is a former one. I take it and add little tweaks to it to keep expanding on it. This is hips, hip flexors, lower back, piriformis, glutes. All these areas are interconnected. So make sure you're warmed up before you start doing this stretch. Uh, modify as needed. Do this with your hands a lot. I'm going to strip some of these clothes off. Get your mat. And uh, if you like hip stretches, you like these videos, make sure you subscribe and share it with those people in your life. You know who they are who definitely need some release. Athletes, sedentary people, whoever they are, share this video with them. Or better yet, do it with them. Okay. Oh, and uh, comment below. Check them below. Am I drab enough? Uh, that's pretty drab. Hope you can see me all right. Uh, by the way, I use the MyQuest yoga mat. Great for Pilates, yoga, pretty much any kind of exercise and fitness. Get in the about section below and you get $5 off using a code, but it's down below. Get it. I'm going to pull my MyQuest yoga mat back a little bit. All right, let's give a little shake out here. Very important when stretching. Focus on breath, on good form, on listening to your body. Let's do some knee ups here. And uh, we want to circulate that oxygen throughout the body in the bloodstream. So very important. Let's take the legs out to the side a little bit. Get that hemoglobin level up. All right, four more times. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, give a little shake. Let's start with a wide-legged forward fold, hip mobility. Pretty much working the whole spectrum here. So wide, bend the knees to modify. Let's bring it down. Grab the opposite arm with each hand or let the arms hang and sway side to side. Put the weight further into the toes and breathe. This is called an inversion, meaning the head goes lower than the waist or the heart. So breath is important. If you feel lightheaded, come back up. Let's do it 10 more times side to side. Get your body loose. Get it moving. This stretch can be done on alone. It can be done before your workout or after your workout. Take it wherever you want. All right, one more time each side. Extra little stretch. Uh, wait, the, down. There we go. <laughs> Extra little stretch down. Arms are hanging. Give a little shake in the shoulders. We want to keep the whole body loose. We're not just focusing on one area when we stretch, but we like to bring everything else with. That's a good rule of thumb in fitness and in life. Got these gloves for Christmas. All right, grab either the legs or fingertips on the mat. A little flat back. Draw the shoulders back. Hi. Shoulders are back. A little stretch. We're going to go a little deeper with this wide-legged forward fold. You can widen the stance. I love being outside. I can't film inside. It's cold, but I, I got to be outside with y'all. Now come down. If you can, grab the feet, legs, or bring the arms in and pull gently. You want to reach through five breaths in the nose and out the nose. Good. A little deeper with each exhale. You can always use the hands for support. All right, let's just um, bring this right into the straddle, Woo! straddle stretch. Hey, Eddie. You all remember Eddie, don't you? All right, we come out. Let's walk it forward and back. A little slide forward with the exhale. Inhale, come up. Feel extra tight. Bend your knees, okay? Good. We have our dog guarding us. We have some flurries in the air. As I said, I made it back a couple days ago to the front range here in Colorado in the Rockies. So great to be back. So great to be back filming with everybody. Training together. Let's do it two more times. Really lengthen and lift. One more time. Okay. As I said, this is an add on doing little tweaks that we did before. So stay in the straddle stretch or you can go to the straddle plank. You're going to come up <laughs> and bring the hands down here. You can go a little further if you want, adding more of a plank. Am I too close to the camera? I'm sliding off, but there we are. Oh yes, let's do five more breaths. Each exhale, sink down just a little bit more. A little arm and shoulder work thrown in. Beautiful.
beautiful. Okay, forearms down, hold five more breaths. Be gentle, you're working the groin here, your psoas area. Hope you can see me. We'll rock back and forth if you like. Woo. On my break, I was still very active, but I was a little slacking on my stretches, so I'm looking forward to this as always. Okay, bring it back up. Let's come back to straddle. You can bend the knees or do a little Van Dam. Just plop it down. Say it! Okay. <laughs> yes. Blood sport, baby. Blood sport. All right, let's hinge it forward again. One of my favorites. You walk forward. Walk forward. Or you could slip the hands. Nice little add on here underneath the legs. And hinge. You're going to get a little deeper stretch with that angle. Each exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lengthen the arms a little more. Give a thumbs up if your uh, furry friend is right next to you as you do this. Three more breaths. Whew. Could feel things happening. You know, your body sometimes punches back. Little uh, lactic acid buildup blocks in the muscles, lack of circulation. These things happen. The art of stretching is in the breath, it's in patience, it's in uh, focus. It really builds your focus. It's definitely a meditation when you're really breathing into those stretches. Okay, Woo Come on up. I can't help myself. We're in straddle. Let's take it to the right leg here. Exhale, lengthen up and over that leg or put the hand down for a little more support. There you go, Eddie. Four more breaths. Definitely looking forward to hearing your your progress. Let me know how this, you know, do this, do it four or five days this week. Do this stretch routine. Let me know how your body feels, how it responds to everything, sports, activities, even standing up and sitting down. It's very profound. Okay, keep the rotation out of the hips and then come up. Let's go to the other side. Uh -huh. Woo. Got a little bit of a twist in here, getting your hamstring, draw the toes towards you to really activate the calves. Good. Each exhale, go a little further. Three more breaths. Always move within the stretch a little bit. Stretching by definition is just movement. Definitely breaking into new areas. All right, rise up. Oh, let's go to a squat. So bring the legs in and we give a shake. <laughs> That's right, Eddies. Okay, catch your squat. Bring the feet out. This is too much? Come up here. That's, I was called this is the umpire. You know, put the mask on. It's Enrique Palazzo. Okay, or come down here. <laughs> Let's do a little side to side. Oh, Addie's line is right on that. It's perfect timing right in the rock. She's not going to stand still for this. Okay, pause for a moment. Okay, Let's see what happens. Sway it side to side. Use these arms, these arms here, press open the hips a little further. Back and forth. You can widen the stance. You're going to feel a little tug in your knee and your shin. So, you know, we, we talk about hips and hip flexors and piriformis, and all these areas are targeted, but with this, you know, profound stretching, you're going to feel it in other areas as well, depending on where you are holding tension. You live your whole life collecting tension. Most of the time we don't know it, but we collect it like I used to collect comic books and football cards. Collect them. Oh, yes, I'm a well-known collector. I, I carry it all in my psoas, you know. So, let's take it back and forth four more times. One, pry open a little further. Two. Hip, um, your tailbone is sinking down towards the mat. Good. Hands together. Pry a little further. You're going to feel tension. Five breaths. Breathe into it. You got it. You will breathe through it and you'll come out of it stronger and stronger.
One more breath. Okay, take the hands down, a little behind. I have a hole in the back of my sock. Please send money, okay? Dear mom and dad, please send money. My holes, my socks have holes and it ain't funny. So I'm taking my hands behind my feet. Again, little rock side to side. I like to add a little bit of movement within my stretches always. Uh, it, it helps me out. I find it, it expands the, uh, the range of the stretch, how much I can incorporate. But you'll find out for yourself what it does. Very personal. Two more breaths. Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, let's go to the tortoise stretch. Come on down. Uh, I say, let's give a little stretch first here. Not a little stretch, a little shake. Bombs the feet together. Side angle here. Stay with the butterfly, your classic butterfly. Or take the hands underneath, palms flat, or grab the feet. Each exhale, top of the head lifting, lengthening forward. Five more breaths. Keep that chin tucked a little bit. Take the tension out of the neck. Again, the angle. There's the butterfly, then there's this. With the arms underneath, a little more intense. Again, we always want to keep moving and keep moving. I work, I train a lot of people, I work with a lot of people, and the goal is to always expand. We never want to get stationary. Just do the status quo, that's death. That doesn't inspire, that doesn't invigorate, that doesn't make you get out of bed in the morning. You want to break through every day. Doesn't happen all the time, but with the right attitude and uh, consistency, you will. <laughs> okay. Let's bring back a classic here. I want you to take your feet, little uh, balancing butterfly. Bring the feet in, draw, oh, okay, draw them towards you. Opening the hips, little shoulders are back and down. A good lesson that no matter what you do, keep your shoulders down away from the ears, keep your chest open. So let your breath fully move from the nose, I don't know what I used to do with my face, from the nose and mouth into the lungs and then getting transferred all the way throughout your body via your bloodstream. So get oxygen into the muscles, into every area of your body. Okay, we're moving into the extreme butterfly. We did this last time. I have not done it in a few fortnights. Thou hast spoken. Wind. So we start with one of your favorites, I guarantee it's called the fire log. Oh, the emails I get about fire log. Take your right ankle on your left thigh. Too much, stay in butterfly. Now, or we could call it extreme fire log. You may stay here or see how this goes here. Take your, oh man, I do this sometimes when I'm in the loft watching, you know, something late at night like an opera or Star Trek. So we're here, here we are. Now, we're not merely content just to sit here, so there's a little stretch I do. Well, let's, let's, let's plant it here for a few breaths. Hinging forward, a little side to side. Like a surgeon, you got to cut in order to heal. you got to have some discomfort in these stretches. It's up to you to know when it's too much and pull back, okay? One more breath. We're having a good time. We're going to keep the legs like this because sometimes I cannot get out of this. Just, this is the rest of my day now. Or come on up. Ah, I'm going to bring the forearms down and just walk the knees back. Now we sway back and forth. Very good. So we get a little engagement in the upper body here too. The shoulders, the arms, the core. Whenever we can, we add more of our body into the movement. Three more breaths. Oh, keep sinking those hips down a little more. Feel that in the knee. Whew. The shirt has a little fleece on the inside. Something like that. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. By the way, the last, the one I linked the video in the about section, this hip stretch, that was filmed right over there. My neighbor's house, they weren't home. Don't tell them. Okay, oh, back down. Mudra, lace the fingers. I don't know if I've ever done a workout without mudra. There's probably a few, but 
open the chest and then hinge forward. Oh, now we add the upper body, okay? Journey would agree, don't stop believing. You can keep adding more and more compound, tripound, quattro pound, if that's a word, to your exercises and stretches. Two more breaths. Become a master of breathing, of breath. Okay, bring it up. Oh, let's switch. Give a little shake. Smiling, we have fire log. Stay in the fire log or go go full fire log. Three, one. Woo. Okay, slipping a little bit. Let's park it here, side to side. When I was in Wisconsin, I'll do, I'm going to wear the shirt in my next videos. I, uh, I taught a power yoga class at Fort McCoy, an army base, about 20 minutes from where my parents live. And that was incredible. They've been following my workouts for a while, and uh, they saw online that I was coming home in that area, so we fixed it up, and I got to go over there and work with a whole bunch of the soldiers. They were fantastic. Uh, very, very privileged to do that. And uh, next time I'm home, I'm gonna go back and do it again. So Fort McCoy Army Base, Wisconsin. If you're in the military, maybe I'll see you there, and also thank you for your service, always. And uh, they were all in great shape. I mean, uh, you know, they're sweating during the power yoga, but they uh, they have a good fitness regimen there. They varied up a lot. Okay, now stay there, or I'll do our little plank here. Forearm, walk, knees back, put the candle back. All right, and rock it forward and back. Okay, be very cautious with the hip dip. There's a lot riding on that stretch right now. There we go, we have the lower back. We have a stretch in the abdominals. And of course, all the stuff happening with your hip, your hip flexors, the joints, the psoas, the groin. You can feel that in your gluteus and your piriformis. If you're not sure what your piriformis is, if you ever get a massage and the therapist decides to really test your limits of torture, they will put their elbow on your upper glute, like upper glute, lower back, and just press. <laughs> You'll feel that. Also, you can hit it with a foam roller, which is definitely a video I'm going to be doing soon, too, with the foam roller, stretching and working out on it. Two more breaths. Gonna dip down a little more. Get that shirt down. Come on. Oh, it's good to be back. All right, come on up. No. Woo! Hey. Okay. Don't leave it. Mudra, finish it off. Three more breaths. You will sweat. There will be sweat. I hear that so much. I never thought I would sweat that much in a stretching or yoga workout. Experience can, uh, can deal you some harsh reality doses, but a wonderful deal. Wonderful to have that experience and know what it does. Good, open the chest and let's bring the legs forward. Just a couple more stretches. I could just keep going for hours, but we'll save that for another video. Shake, 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 shake. I want you to come to a low lunge. Left foot forward, right knee back. We talk about the hip flexor right here. It might rebel a little bit. Do a little rocking forward right here. Hip flexor. Hip flexor and hamstrings work in tandem a lot. If you, you don't want to overstretch one, it definitely pushes forward. It can cause a, you know, pressing forward into the other. So really loose hamstring and tight hip flexors. It's like having a strong, strong abdominals and a weak lower back. You want to keep them balanced. Okay, now. Two options. One, you can bring the forearms down. And while you're hinging forward, you can also drop that left knee towards the ground. Look at that. We have a hip opener here. We have a hip flexor stretch here. Lengthen your spine. Two more breaths. You're welcome to hold these longer if you like. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen here. I just did a seven-day flexibility challenge. I'll put that up there. Also in the about section below. Get on that. Do it Monday through Sunday or any day of the week you like. 
All right. Drop the leg. Quick pigeon. I want you to slide forward. Let's not get in the pigeon trap. We're going to hold this one too long. Let's press it back up and then switch the legs. Right leg forward. Left knee down. Line up the knee and the ankle. A little rocking forward. Hip flexor. Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> On our drive the other day uh, from Wisconsin back here to Colorado, I, I do a whole workout on the steering wheel. Maybe I'll publish that sometime. <laughs> you know, moving around in the seat. Now hands are forearm down. Feel free to open this right hip. But I don't like to sit for very long. They always say sitting is the new smoking. So I like to get up and move around. And so I do as much as I can in the seats, the passenger seat and the driver's seat. But yeah, a whole workout on the steering wheel. I don't know if it's legal. Okay. Two more breaths. Oh, that is sweet stuff right there. We got a little pigeon. Uh, slide it forward. One more breath. Don't want to use up your whole day here. So bring it up. Let's do one last hamstring stretch here. Downward facing dog. Bring it up. Do a little walk. Should feel revived. I want to hear from you. Please comment below how you're feeling, what this routine did for you. Remember, consistency is king. And do the workout that came before this that inspired this one. About section below. Yeah, it's on the screen somewhere, too. All right, walk the feet forward and rise up. <laughs> All right, my friends. Addy loves the end of the videos. Uh, next time you're at Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, or go to SeanVFitness.com, get my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes. Uh, great for men, women, everyone of all fitness levels. No matter which sport you play, this will help you. I mean, you want to go deeper with your practice and improving your performance. Ow, Eddie scratched me. It keeps cracking the top 20 again on Amazon. I would love to get it to number one. Over 100 photos. It's been very well reviewed. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you next time, my friends. Keep spreading the word. Keep stretching. Consistency equals success. And the results are overwhelming, and they keep us coming back for more and more and more. And I'm very happy to be with you, training with you in 2017. Let's make it a golden, golden year. And uh, we'll see you next time. Rolo Tomasi. He's the one that always got away. <laughs>